John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're taking a test drive on the Silver Sky by PRS. But before I tell you all about this guitar, I'll tell you about how we're recording it. Uh, Klotz cable going directly from the guitar into a Fender Supersonic amp. We're in the clean channel, which is basically flat, and the dirty channel, which is flat. And we're micing with a Royer R121 that's about a foot off the cabinet, and that's running into an Apsi Quartet and the Pro Tools. So, guitar, amp, mic, Pro Tools, the universe. So let me tell you about this thing. Um, I've been reviewing guitars for a long time now and this is probably the most like controversial guitar I've re reviewed and I don't know what all the hubbub is about. Um, but all the haters out there, let's just do this. We'll just listen to it and then you can judge. Um, we all know that PRS makes, they're capable of making great guitars. So let's just listen with an open mind and see what it does. So let's start with the pickups. These are proprietary 635 JM pickups that were uh, co-designed by John Mayer and PRS. They're single coils, but the single coil uh, 60 cycle hum you might expect is negligible and they sound great. I'll just flip through them and you can make your own call on it. Okay, other ingredients include this alder body, and it's a really comfortable design. I like the way that they did this ergonomic thing there. I mean, there's not a note you can't hit. You can slide way up there and hit it. So I love that. Uh, the heel is comfortable and pretty subtle back there. Um, I do like the fact there's not a scratch pad because I'm a kind of guy that's always adjusting these anyway. I don't know where any of the covers are on any of my guitars because I take them off immediately. So it just feels great. Um, the tone controls are really expressive. Let me just show you a little bit right there. You know, some tone controls are basically on off. 
These give you everything, so. Yeah, this five-way switch, really convenient right there. Tone controls right where you want it. I like also that you've got tone on the bridge, which uh, you know is where you need it the most in my in my estimation. Uh, other ingredients include include a rosewood fingerboard. Love the birds on it. It is a let's see, uh, 7.25 radius, which feels really comfortable. I've got a 55 strat that is roughly like this and i just play the guitar all the time uh the maple neck feels great one thing i would change though um i would have left like the lacquer off this neck just because i mean play it long enough it's going to be like that but i would have just left that just bare wood because it just would feel better um the uh as you might see this headstock might look a little more recognizable now it's flipped around which I, you know, I don't know why they did. They said it just worked better in design, but I dig it. These tuners, although they have a vintage -y kind of look to them, are in fact locking, and I like that. I like, like no string tree, a straight shot. It is just a really solid guitar. So they went with a traditional vintage -y looking bridge, but it's been upgraded with what they call the Glen 3 knife head screws. But... I've been wanging on it. Let's do the test. For whatever reason, it is popping right back in. And really, it, the, the, it just feels great. So I love that. And a secret tone I found in this is in the middle position, you really get that Bonnie Raitt kind of thing. Love that. So those are the basics on the Silver Sky John Mayer Signature from PRS. To read the full written review, go to PremierGuitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, all that social media stuff. We have guitar geekery for days. It's John Bolger. Till next time. <laughs>